Today I'm going to show you a graffiti script created by this person. It has some pretty cool features like blacklisted zones where players can't spray, the ability to mark gang territory, and of course the ability to remove the graffiti. I'll leave a link to the resource in the description. I hope you enjoy the video. Before you get into the video, I am doing a giveaway of MT workshops created by this person. It's an advanced mechanic script with very cool features. I left a link to the preview in the description. The giveaway starts March 1st and ends on March 8th. To be eligible, you must be in my Discord as well as the creators. In my Discord, go to the giveaway channel and react to enter. There's a section with information pertaining to the giveaway in the description. Now on to the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. Once you're there, hit the green code and download zip. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources. And drag over what you downloaded and remove the main from the end. After you've done that, go into the folder and copy the spray props folder. Then go back to your resources and paste it. Then go to your server CFG and ensure both of them. After you've done that, hit File and Save. The next thing you need to do is add the images, so go back to the Resource folder. And go into the Images folder. Then copy the images in here and find whatever inventory you use. I'm using QB Inventory, so I'll be going there. Then paste the images. The next step is to add the items, so go back to the resource on GitHub, scroll down in the README, and copy this block of code here. Then go back to the QB folder, find QB Core, go into Shared, and open the items.lua. Once you're in here, scroll down. and paste what you copied, then hit File and Save. After you've done that, go back to the README and copy this block of code here. Then go to QB Inventory, HTML, JS, and open this here. You need to add it around line 390, so we'll scroll down there. I'm just going to put it up here, clean that up a bit, then hit File and Save. Next, you need to run the SQL however you do. I left a link in the description to a video made by Anna that shows multiple methods. The last thing to look at is the config, so go back to your resources and find the resource. Then open the config.lua. The first thing in here are the blacklisted zones, which is where players aren't allowed to spray. There are some default ones already with commented out text explaining where they are. The rest is for the sprays. It has the name displayed, the price, the blip and color, and if it's for a gang or not. This angel spray isn't for a gang, so there's no blip or gang assignment. If you look below that at the ballas one, you'll see those fills are enabled and filled out. If you made changes, be sure to hit file and save. Then you can start your server and test it out. So I'm back in the server now and at the graffiti shop. There's also a blip that shows up on the map to let you know where it's at. So go ahead and buy some sprays. Here you have the list of all the sprays. The ones that are graded out are for the gangs, so you won't be able to buy them unless you're in that gang. So I'll go ahead and buy two of these, and then change my gang to the ballas.
then go back into the shop and here's the spray there so I'll go ahead and buy one of those as well so I'm at the police station now which is one of the blacklisted zones so I'll go ahead and try to just spray on this wall here and let you know you can't spray at this place so I'm at the Mega Mall by Grove Street now, so I'll go ahead and find the ball spray I purchased. If you hover over them in the description, it'll tell you which spray it is. This one is for the ballas, and this one is the NBC spray. So I'll go ahead and use the ball spray and find a suitable spot, like so. Then hit enter, and you'll start spraying. And as the time goes on, the spray gets darker. Alright, and it's all done. So if you open the map, you'll be able to see where the territory is marked. It's this little purple blip here. So I'm in a new location now with more spray. So go ahead and spray another one. I'll just put it here. Again, over time, the text will darken. Okay, and that one's done. That one isn't for a gang, so there's no marking of territory on the map. Now I have more spray, so I'll just run down a little bit. And if you try to spray again, it won't let you because someone already sprayed in the area. Now you also have the ability to remove the spray using the spray remover. So I'll go ahead and use it and start cleaning off the wall. And it's all cleaned up. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed it and it helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. If you need help or have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.